Hello everyone! In today's video I would like to review OSPF LSA Type 2, which is Network Link LSA. So let's get started. A multi-access network segment that uses a designated router and backup designated router is represented by Type 2 LSA, which is advertised by the designated router and identifies all the routers attached to that network segment. You will also see the DR and network mask in this LSA. A Type 2 LSA is not presented in LSDB if there is no elected DR on the network segment because the corresponding Type 1 transit link type LSA is stub. LSAs Type 2 always stay inside the originating OSPF area. For brief summary view of the LSAs Type 2, use command show IP OSPF database. For our referencing topology, uh, when we use this uh, command show IP OSPF database, we can see uh, the output which shows our uh, net link states for area 1, 2, 3, 4. This is our uh, designated router, age of uh, LSA, sequence number and check sum. To review detailed type 2 LSA information, the following command can be used. Show IP OSPF data by the same like previous one and we can add uh, word network. For our reference topology, uh, network LSA type 2 is advertised by uh, DR. DR is our router R3. Type 2 LSA from router 3333 shows that link state ID 10.12303 attached R1, R2 and R3. There is also network mask 24 included in the type 2 LSA. So for our example, we can see that um, we run this command on the router with ID 1111, process ID 100, uh, netlink states area 1234. Here we can see our uh, designated router IP address on the link advertising router which is our also router id of our designated router sequence number checksum network mass and three routers which are connected to this segment router 3 1 and 2 a new type 2 lsa is created when designated router changes causing sfp to run again within the ospf area so let's see uh, this information in the example for this example, we're going to use network topology with six routers. Here we have area 1, 2, 3, 4. Here we have area 0 and here we have area 56. Let's see what we have on router R1. Show IP OSPF neighbors. We can see that router with ID 3333 is DR and router with router ID 2222 is BDR in this network segment. Let's see what we have here. This is our LSA type 2. Link ID is IP address of designated router in this segment. This is router ID of uh, designated router in, in this segment. Age of LSA, sequence number and checksum. And show it PUSPF database network. Let's see more detailed information about LSA type 2. OSPF router ID 1111 on which we run this command uh, process ID of SPF 100, area 1234, link state ID IP address of designated router in this network segment, router ID of designated router, sequence number, checksum, mask of network prefix and three routers attached to this net, uh, network segment router 3 1 and 2 let's see what we have on our r3 on our designated router show ip ospf database as you can see we have the same information here and show ip ospf network database network and here we have the same detailed information except that we can see that router ID is different because this is router R3, 
link state same, router ID same, sequence number same, checksum, network mass and attached routers to this segment. Thank you very much for your attention. This is everything I wanted to tell you. See you soon. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel with the notification bell on and show your support by hitting like button. I hope to see you soon in my next videos. But for now, just goodbye and see you soon.